So make sure you watch the whole video. And then at the end, I'll have a giveaway. You don't want to miss it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tony, and I'm a homeschooling mom to four kids. And I just got a box of books in and it is from a brand new place. Well, to me, it's not new. Some of you guys may have used it before, but I have never ordered from here before. I am typically, if I can find it at the thrift store, that's what I do. Or if I have to order it online, I usually go to thriftbooks.com or my last resort is usually Amazon. But I found some good deals on Book Outlet. Raise your hand if you use Book Outlet. Have you guys ordered from there before? Let me know in the comments. These had some good deals. So we're gonna open this up and see what kind of quality these books are, but they were a really good deal. This is cute. Let me cover up my cover up my information here, but look what it says. Warning, may contain awesome books. I love that. So let's get this open. Before I open this, you guys wanna see, we have an addition to the family. We have this cute little addition that I never in my life thought we'd have. Ready? This is Moose. Say hi. Isn't he cute and tiny? Little fluffy moose. Say hi. Can you say hi to everybody? He's really sweet. Oh, I think I just got pee on my hand. That was gross. He's really sweet and fun and tiny and he's not gonna get much bigger than this. And he doesn't really bark. He's a sheet zoo. And he's really cute and we love him, but he does smell like a dog right now. <laughs> okay, he is hypoallergenic. He doesn't shed, he is Super sweet. Love him. Anyway, that's why I wanted to show you that guy. I think there's an airplane. Sorry. <laughs> the funny thing is, oh my word, now there's trucks. Sorry. I don't film outside usually, and I do have a microphone that I got recently, and I can't find it. I don't know what I did with it. So uh, I'm just going to talk really loud, and hopefully you guys can hear me over all the outside noises. It's such a nice day that I thought it'd be nice to film outside, and my schoolroom's still a mess, and I didn't want to move stuff. So... Okay, so here, let's open this guy. <laughs> my neighbors are home. I love it when I film outside and people can see me. Okay, let's film. It's interesting that they like plastic wrap the whole box. I don't think I've ever ordered anything from somewhere that plastic wraps the whole box. You guys? Interesting. It's cool. It protects it in the rain and stuff. Okay, let me sit on that it doesn't fly away okay so it says this is so fancy pull here let's see if I can do it pull this can we do it guys I should have marked out my name so I don't have to keep holding it like this oh that didn't work okay I am destroying this box let's use scissors so the pull here thing didn't really work my girls were trying to get ready for school and I got this stuff in a couple days ago. I think it was earlier, at the beginning of this week. And um, I'm like, we can't open it yet. I have to do a video. <laughs> they love it when I do that. But, oh my word, I can't even open it. Okay, it's open, okay. All right, so most of these are books my girls needed for uh, literature class that we're taking with our co-op. And a couple of them are ones that I wanted them to read this year anyway okay so let's see it is open okay and they're just loosely in here oh my word i'm so excited about this one okay i don't remember how much these are i will look them up and see how much i paid and i'll put it at the bottom because i don't think i have a tag here i don't think i have they don't give you like a receipt in here but i got oh that's cool look at that the secret garden oh my word they're mowing the grass across the street <laughs> Okay, so the neighbor decided to cut the grass right across the street and it got super loud. So we're inside now and it looks like my room is really clean, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so let's look inside this box again. We're gonna try this again. This is how today's gone, no joke. I, I think it's the craziest day I've had in a very long time between just, ugh. we're just gonna move on because I just had another interruption and we're never gonna get through this. <laughs> My pastor talked about sarcasm on Sunday and I do that a lot. And how sarcasm sometimes isn't good. And that's like, if I had to describe my personality, I would probably say sarcastic. 
like my laugh sometimes. <laughs> I'm gonna try to put that all aside. Let's look at these books. These look so beautiful. Okay, so let's try this again. I started to show you guys this and then the guy started cutting the grass. So my, my one daughter is doing the secret garden for her literature class at co-op. And here's what I decided this year because these books were so cheap. I don't remember how much this was, but like I said, I'll put it on the screen if I remember if I can find it. Um, that's the only time I've ever ordered books from somewhere and they didn't give you like a, a receipt like in the pay, in the box, but this was not much. Um, and I was like, you could buy like a paperback book that sometimes are hard to open and like hard to read and stuff. Some of the older ones, I could have gotten one of those for like $3 or I could pay a little bit more for a beautiful copy. Now, you know what's interesting? I thought this was gonna be hardback, but it's like a bendy, thick um, something. Isn't that interesting? I, it's really pretty though. So it'll be kind of easier to read. Really pretty and uh, it looks, I mean, it looks pretty new. So I didn't know how good quality these were. It looks like it was $17.99 originally. But anyway, so The Secret Garden, that's one of them. But that's so pretty. So when she's done reading it, I would have, I like to display books, so I would have that out. I got another one that I just wanted my daughter to read. I can't remember if it was, I don't know if my, I don't think either of my girls has, have read this. So I think I'm probably gonna have both of them read it sometime during the year. And um, it looks like it's by the same publisher. Paper Mill Press, these are beautiful. So Little Women, which I have never read Little Women, I don't think. I wasn't a big reader growing up. So I've seen the movie a bunch of times, um, but I've never read it. And I don't even know if my girls have seen the movie. So I think they'll love it. It's about time that they read it. This is like brand new. I can't remember how much these were, but look how pretty that is. Okay, I'm super impressed so far. This is really awesome. And the deal was if you pay, if you spent so much, you got free shipping. I can't remember if it was like $40 or, I feel like it was $40. It could have been 50. I don't think it was 50 though. I feel like it was maybe 40 because I was close to it and I added one more book, which I think was this one, where I was like, um, I can either pay, I don't know, eight, dollars in shipping or something or I can add a four dollar book and and get free shipping so this is a much better deal so I got that okay let's see what else we have in here so the next one ooh, I'm really excited about this book the screw tape letters by C.S. Lewis that's another one that I have never read and my girls have never read this is one of those you know when the pages you guys see where the pages are like torn a little bit or like offset I really like that that's really cool this is pretty so these books these books are brand new. I'm really confused because thrift books, sometimes you get books that are like used, obviously used. These don't look used at all. Anyway, I'm really excited. This is for the literature class that I'm teaching for the high schoolers. So I will be reading this along with my ninth grader, but that's awesome, excited. Okay, another one that I will be reading, my seventh grader will be reading and my ninth grader will be reading is The Bronze Bow. And this is one that I know I've seen recommended over many different curriculums over the years, and we just have never read it for whatever reason. But it sounded really good, and um, it goes along with the time period that we're using. This also, it's brand new. Did you guys know Book Outlet was brand new? I didn't know that. Like for the prices, I thought for sure these were going to be used, and I was worried they're going to come like crumbled up and spit on and highlighted and all kinds of stuff, but this is like brand new. What in the world? Okay, so The Bronze Bow. Have you guys read The Bronze Bow? I feel like everybody has. This, oh, I'm excited about this. So Christmas Carol. This is another one, Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. This is one that, I was wondering how long this was. So this is not that long, because I was trying to tell online. It's, it's a nice, short, quick read. But we are doing this for the literature class, also for my co-op, and um, that's a cute little book. I like it. So I'm really excited about this one. So we're doing it like in November going into December. So that'll be fun. That looks brand new too. These are all brand new. Guys, why didn't anybody tell me about this years ago? What in the world? Okay, we are also, okay, so this is another, I think maybe this was the one. I think this is the one that I added at the last minute because I needed like a book that was like three or $4 in order to bump me up over to get free shipping. So this is what I got, Rip Van Winkle. Have you guys read this? Again, I feel like there's a lot of these books that I should have read by now or my kids should have read by now and I just haven't. Like I know the story. It's something about a guy who takes a really long nap. 20 years. 
I'm tired. I could take a 20 year nap. Maybe not. I would miss too much. But anyway, <laughs> um, but this is a nice paperback book. Okay. Well, just so you know, apparently these are all new. I am just, I'm flabbergasted, but I'm excited. So I will just assign this to somebody for a reading this year because, um, yeah, just because he got me free shipping. And then the last one is one that my daughter read. I have not read it, but I've seen the movie. We both saw the movie. She actually took a class a couple years ago online to do the Hobbit. And I chose this for our literature class. Also, we have a copy of The Hobbit, but it's one of those like short, like tiny paperback ones that has like yellowy pages and it's probably really hard to like open and read. And so I got a nice pretty copy. I really like this one. I like the design on the cover. So uh, yeah, really nice. So that is our, I think that's our last book that we're doing for the literature class. So The Hobbit. Well, that's exciting. And guess what? I have a giveaway. Do you guys want a giveaway? I, um, I, I got sent a book from a different company to give away to you guys. So I thought that would be fun to do. Um, okay, so this is from The Good Book Company. If, if you guys don't know The Good Book Company, follow them on Instagram because they have some really great books. And I've talked about them before. We did, uh, oh, let me show you. I did a giveaway last year for this book, How Can I Feel Closer to God, or like a couple months ago. I don't remember when I did it. But at some point, and this was a really good devotional that I did with all my kids and we loved it. It was really, really good. So this is the same author and we really liked it. I'm pretty sure, I feel like he was like Australian or English or something because of the way he worded stuff. So I don't know, I thought that was fun. But so Chris Morphew, that's the one we did last year. So they sent me this book, How Can I Be Sure What's Right and Wrong by Chris Morphew. And I really like the other one, so I'm assuming this is going to be awesome too. They sent me a copy, and they also sent you guys a copy. Woo-woo! So, we're going to do a giveaway. Is that going to be a big deal? I'm not going to ask for your child's first name and birthday or anything crazy, but uh, we're going to do a little giveaway, and then I will send you one of these books. Isn't that exciting? I'm really excited. So, this will be something that I will probably do with my kids. I like to do devotions mixed in with our Bible. So if we do, like we're doing a, a Bible curriculum, I don't like to do that every single day. So like maybe one day a week, I like to do something like this. It's a little more casual, just kind of a devotional where we can have more discussion and things like that. So that's probably what I'm going to do. I might do this like once a week, really small book, but it was really good. And they, it gets the kids thinking and pretty easy discussions and things like that. I don't know if there's an age. Oh, he's from Australia. Look at me. I, I, I figured that out. That's amazing. So anyway, I think this will be really cool. So I'm going to send you guys one of these. So how about this? Let's see. So to enter the giveaway, super easy. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Uh, hopefully you're already subscribed, but if you're not, go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell. And then if you can like this video, I'll give you bonus points. If you share this video, if you share it on like Facebook or you share it with on uh, Instagram or on YouTube or however you want to share it. But if you share it, I'll give you extra credit, bonus points. Um, and just leave me a comment below. Why don't you leave me a comment below telling me what you're most excited about for the school year. So whether it is, well, some of you guys might not be. If you're not a homeschooler, just tell me what you're most excited about for this next year or like for this year. Are you excited you know, to get a new office chair at work? Are you excited to start a new math curriculum? Are you excited for fall? Whatever, I don't care. Let's just share some excitement with each other, especially after the crazy day I've had. I would love to read some comments about some excitement. So anyway, leave all that stuff and I will let you guys know who the winner is. I usually let you guys know on Instagram or I will post it on YouTube, on my YouTube community. So just be watching out for that. And just make sure you're either watching out for that or that I have your contact information so that I can contact you if you win. Otherwise, if you don't want, I know a lot of people don't like to put that out there. They don't like to put their email address. Then just make sure you're watching for when I say, Susie, Mama Four, or whatever your, your name would be, um, one, then send me a message and say, I'm the one that won the book. And then I'll get your address and stuff. So thanks for being here, guys. I hope this was fun. Um, I'm really excited and I would totally recommend... Um, book outlet. Look how beautiful these books are. That is like so awesome. I'm really excited. So um, I think I like it better than thrift books. I never thought I'd say that, but to have all these brand new books for super cheap is awesome. What did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven books for I think $40, 40. 
I'll type it down here when I figure it out, but it was an amazing deal. So uh, I don't know why I didn't hear about Book Outlet long ago, but I'm really excited. Happy school year. If you're starting a new school year, happy Monday if you are just having a day. So thanks for being here and I will see you guys next week. Bye.